Hi, I'm Doug McKinley and you're watching Adorama TV. For today's episode, we're going to look at making really good portraits using nothing more complicated than a camera body, a few lenses, a reflector, a tripod, and the light from a window. Now, not all of us have the convenience or desire to work in fully kitted out studios, myself included. Just because we don't have all that expensive lighting gear doesn't mean that good portraits are out of reach. Just because there's no strobes, it doesn't mean that you can't get great pictures. You can always find a window, and best of all, this light is free. But just before we get started, a quick word about gear. I've already mentioned a camera body, in this case, a Canon 5D Mark III. As for lenses, I've got a 50mm 1.4 Prime, a 100mm Macro, a 24-70 2.8 short zoom. Accompanying this, I'm gonna have my tripod, and I'm gonna be using a reflector to mold the light. And that's really about it. Just one other word, remember the prime directive when it comes to shooting portraits is when you're focusing, always focus on the eye, no matter what kind of portrait you're doing. As for the technical end of window light portraiture, one of the things you're gonna to have to think about is stability, both with your model and your camera. Because window light is less intense than shooting outdoors or with studio lights where you can control everything, it will mean your ISOs will probably be higher and your, your shutter speeds will be slower. But it's a balancing act too. Too much ISO and you work with noise. Too slow a shutter speed and your model or the camera, if you're hand handling, will look a little blurry. Because window light is less intense than shooting outdoors or with studio, studio lights where you can control everything, it's really important to understand this. I often use a 50 millimeter 1.4 lens with that great range of aperture. 1.4, of course, is a really, really narrow, narrow depth of field, but I can use that and still get that nice background blur in the background. Window light is soft and flattering. That's why so many photographers like it. The best part about it, if you travel a lot, it costs you nothing. You have to carry nothing on your back. So we're going to get started, and I've got my friend Max here who's agreed to be our model. Thank you very much, Max. Um, now, Window light portraits are all about adjusting the light to get exactly what you want. They're always going to be nice and soft. It's very, very flattering light. But as you can see, as he's standing more or less perpendicular to the window, you can see his right hand, left hand side of his face is bright and the right hand side of his face is in shadow. That's the drama. Now, you can increase or decrease that, that drama any way you like. You can have him just turn his head toward the window a little more and you see the light start to fall onto the right hand side of his face. That's decreasing the drama just by moving his body. So it's about angles as well. You angle the body, your, your, your uh, model, to the position you like to see how much drama or how less or least amount of drama. As I turn his face back toward me, you can see that the drama increases again with a shadow on the right hand side of his face. Now the other way to mitigate this is to mold the light around him by using a reflector. You can use the white side and you can see just by moving it in different directions, lower or higher or closer or further back, it's going to change the amount of drama on his face. Now you can flip this one around, it's got a gold side, if you want to add a little bit of warmth to the picture. But again, it's still the same, same concept, you're adding or decreasing the amount of drama to the picture. Now as I mentioned earlier, uh, the angles are important. You can you want to adjust the angle of your model to get the best picture you want. I find it if I have my model turn toward the window a little bit more, and then your chin, just your chin, your head, just your head toward me a little bit, a little like head up, eyes open. I find that a little bit more flattering. The other thing you got to watch for is you want the catch lights in his eyes. It's really, really important when it comes to portraits. As you can see, you can see the catch lights in both of his eyes. That's what I want to see in a picture. Proximity as well is another thing you should think about. The closer your model is to the, to, the, to the window, the more intense it's going to get. Step toward me, please. As he comes back away from the window, you can see that the light's going to be a little, a little less intense. So you can adjust how much light falls on your subject just by moving them around. So experiment with head movements, shoulder movements, positioning of your model to, closer to the window or further back from the window. So that's about it. It's not all that difficult. It's a little bit of experimentation, a little bit of your time. Thanks for watching. I'm Doug McKinley for Adorama TV. Don't forget, you can also subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos and tell us what you think. You can like, comment, or share this video. And please stop by the Adorama Learning Center for more great tips and tricks. Mm -hmm.